Hello, I'm Brian Bolio, ITR Economics. Welcome to the October 25th, 2024 edition of FedWatch. Um, last week, I mentioned that I uh, wasn't convinced at all that the Fed was going to be lowering interest rates in November. Uh, still of that same mindset, still think there's going to be some more rate decline on the other side of November. I just don't be disappointed if it doesn't happen. There are some, this is neutral news, but I, I, it pleased me from a macroeconomic perspective. Uh, the money supply, M2 measure of the money supply, deflated for inflation. The raw data rose again in, in September. That's the fourth consecutive month of rise. That's really good news. That's statistically significant in terms of it being a viable trend reversal. Um, you know, and this, not only for the general economy, but this is a good leading indicator long term for uh, the stock market. So, you know, the stock market can get rather volatile because of the election. Um, but this is a sign that once the waters calm down, uh, we're going to be moving in a good direction. Another data point that came out was existing home sales, and that, that data was weak, uh, which is conducive for an interest rate decline, maybe December, if not November. Um, but it, chuck that up into, okay, that's something that the Federal Reserve could worry about. Um, single family housing permits in September, not existing homes sold, but permitting, um, was another good sign for interest rate decline uh, toward the end of this year. Um, the seasonal decline is within norm, but it's steeper than last year. The 312 is at 0 0.7, and the trend is ill-defined, but when we projected it out for the next quarter, it looks like it's going to be slipping below the zero line. Now, the annual data is still good. It's up 12% year over year, but that's going to be getting downward towards zero, at least over the fourth quarter of this calendar year, if not also the first quarter of next year. So you put that one in the column also of um, probably pushing the Fed towards a more decline. But that's balanced off by new homes sold. So permits are a little bit more forward-looking, right? But the new homes sold data uh, if that's what they key in on, that's not conducive to seeing uh, more interest rate decline. The 312 improved to plus 6.0%. It was down to minus 2.2% just two months ago, so it's picked up quickly. Uh, 1212 is still in phase C at 4.1%, but um, the data trend has turned around over the last two months and is back to rising. And that's good news. Um, the September Data was very strong at plus 5.4%. It's normal to see August to September decline in these home sales. Um, so the fact that it was up, not down, is encouraging. But keep in mind, last year it did the same thing, and that didn't turn out so well toward the end of the year. So it's nothing to get overly excited about, but it is a green shoot, really, amongst all the data. And then the final data point that I looked at uh, for this week's FedWatch was consumer expectations. It's not something that I would normally look at. Uh, it's, it doesn't help us gauge where retail sales are going, um, but it is sometimes interesting to look at the trend. And the trend right now is positive. The number itself, the index itself is uh, good. It's not great, but it is good. And the trend is one of consumer expectations have been uh, rising. Um, that's interesting given all the political rhetoric that's been going on for the last six months or so, particularly the last three months. Um, we don't have much time left between now and the election day. And uh, with the rising consumer expectations, um, I think maybe some of the pessimism about the, uh, pessimism about the economy has been waning as inflation has been waning. And that could be interesting come November 5th. All in all, no change in our outlook, mixed views on the data. Uh, while it, some of it was not conducive to interest rate decline, keep in mind that there is some good news there and that it means that the economy is not going into recession. It means that we're not about to slide downward. Um, we're still in ill-defined territory in many series. Uh, you look at some manufacturing or you look at industrial equipment manufacturing, for instance, that's in full-fledged recession. Uh, but then you look at overall machinery and it's down just 0.9%. And some parts are obviously doing well. So the Fed doesn't have an easy job trying to call 
how much more of an interest rate decline needs to happen. The marketplace isn't indicating that they're in any hurry to lower interest rates, but we think there's going to be enough questionable data out there over the next one quarter, maybe two quarters that uh, we'll get some more decline. Then you're going to want to lock in. Thanks for watching this edition of FedWatch. I'll see you next week.